Hello everybody, welcome back to I Suck at World of Tanks. This is Bronze. Uh, we're getting back into uh, my next two matches. This would be uh, Malinovica. Yeah. I'm not even going to try and pronounce these anymore because these are just bad. We're uh, coming up to the... This will be the third match. Um, this one actually goes on for quite a little while even though I die. So I'm going to try and do commentary as best as I can. And hopefully this little match will start. There we go. When, uh... I don't know what settings I was trying to change here. I was changing my rectal and stuff like that, but... Alright, get out of that. When you, uh, start a match, if you're not immediately loaded in, when they've already started, you only have to, uh, I think there's like a 10 second loading time, which is the wait. And by the way, in this match, you're gonna see some um, stupid driving on my end. Just to let you know, I drive cars better than I drive tanks. It's just kind of, you know, really, who is a tank? If you notice, I'm trying to make shots here, but the barrier's actually in the way. They actually set it up to where, yeah, you can be behind the barrier and not get shot, but you also can't shoot over it. So you have to get out of the way of it. Alright, let's find me a nice little enemy to take some shots at. They won't hit them, but... You see, the... What makes the game so interesting is your load time because you actually technically have crew members on your tank. So every time you take a shot, you have a physical person in there unloading the old shell and putting in a new shell and then saying, okay, you can fire. So as you play through the game, your individual crew members rank themselves up and eventually get to be really good. Like, oh, I can reload really fast. And yeah, shoot in front of that guy. You can hit him. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Nothing new, but I'm dead. Alright. And see this guy, there's a lot, what a lot of people will do, they'll play a scout. They'll get a really, really, really fast tank. You get more, uh, experiencing experience for discovering people who have never been seen so a lot of people will take a, a really really fast tank and just run through the field they know they're gonna die but they're gonna get a lot of experience because they're gonna discover a lot of people and where they're hiding and these first few matches there's no FPG you can't get into a match with these tanks and have the sniper rifle tanks it's a good thing because it would when you think of this game in regards to an MMO you have your OP class I love the SVG and I'm not gonna lie it's overpowered when you take a shot you're you'll see in a later video here when I get my SVG you hide yourself and then your you take your cannon and zoom out like how I can zoom in and look directly down the barrel. You essentially do that, but you get the entire map to just roll over and then eventually you'll zone in on a spot and you can drop a bomb right there. So rather than hitting the front, hitting the back, hitting the side, having to strategically position yourself, you can aim for their ammo deposit. You can aim for their uh, for their gas tank and it can you can one shot tanks so if you took the uh, the SPG and put them into these matches it'd be a slaughter there'd be no chance it'd be a one shot everything's dead alright come on guys y'all can do this I don't think y'all can't oh no it's um five to ten the fear of the man. 
the only way we could pull this off is, well, now it's 3 to 10, but we'd have to actually take their base at this point. Oh, look, me dead. Oh, look, got a little bit down. Getting so PO'd because everybody's killing them. Oh, yeah, this guy. This guy is insane. Oh, see, they're already starting to capture our base. Which instantly means, hey, you're gonna lose because no one's anywhere near it to stop them. You know, all it really takes is, is if someone's in your friendly base, you shoot them once and it resets the timer. But this guy, I think this guy racks up like three kills before the match is over. I mean, he does really, really good. Yeah, there's one. I think this, this I think this ends up being I think he gets three or four kills by the end of the match by the end of the match, but yeah, there's three. Second one just running up here and trying to save. So he managed to single-handedly take out two. Well, I mean, we lost, but I mean, you got to give it to a guy who can just run up there and just obliterate two different people while being shot at. All right, next map is Mines. Um, the map is interesting. The map is a little quirky. This is actually going to be a victory. So everyone's going to see a victory. Yay, I win. I am the victor. But of course, see, I got in a lot faster than everybody else, so now I gotta wait 15, 20 seconds. Come on. Let's go blow some stuff up. Let's get this yeah, show on the road. Stuff up. Let's go. Now, the most interesting part of this match is that you can talk to your teammates and you can completely hold conversations with him but no one uses voice chat for one and everything else is through typing and if you're typing you're not moving and if you're not moving you're not shooting so there's not too much communication ever um one of the plus sides is is if you notice you don't see a mouse um you control with you can use WASD or the arrow keys i prefer to use the arrow keys and you aim with your mouth and shoot with your mouth. So with this, you can't click anywhere on your screen because you're aiming with your mouth. If you hold, I think it's control, one of the control buttons, you can release your mouse and click on the map, which for an SVG, that means you can move your camera to that part of the map really fast, which is useful. And if you're dead, or if you're going to die, but you know there's someone here and everybody needs to go there, you can tell them, hey, this is where you need to come. So it's really useful in that sense. I think you guys might get a kill. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is destroyed. Enemy armor is destroyed. I don't even see myself on this list of... If I get a kill on here or not, I prefer to get a kill. But if I don't, well, at least I live long enough to win, which is nice. I actually don't die in this map, I, and we get a win. I think I chase, end up chasing a couple of people now. Just not seeing the same inside. Punch right through their armor. And if you're looking on the video, uh, do not look for Bronzed Out. Bronzed Out is not on there. It's under Nerd Rage. So, I just can't make the video any bigger right now. Sneak it through the jungle. Oh, oh, oh. Shoot him. Shoot him. Hit him. Oh, he's behind a rock. Cheater. I was all with a little red diamond. It's like, shoot this, shoot this. You know what it is, just shoot it. Come on, we're all going to 
be. Yeah, I love trying to sneak up on a base and her in a tank. I guess I'm sneaking in a tank. No one expects that. I'm looking so forward to getting the videos for a uh, SPG up and going. I, uh, I recorded these probably about two weeks ago. And seeing it, it's just after July 4th. We've been uh, swamped at work, so I haven't been able to do anything. But I'm looking forward to getting those videos up just so y'all can see them. See how the SPG works. I may even take a poll that... Do you want to see just SVG videos? Do you want to see these videos? Just see what you want to see. Oh look, see we're already well over halfway and the more people that you get into the circle the faster it goes. So, boom. We win. Alright, if you like this video, uh, like, favorite, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Uh, just around the corner there'll be a new video. Till next time guys, this has been Bronze.